Okay, uh, today we're gonna talk about the quadratic formula. These are your problems, so pause it, write them down, and get ready. When you know how to solve these, you should be good. Okay, so I'm gonna talk about the quadratic formula. You guys have seen this before in Algebra 1. It's negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a. That's the formula, and x equals this. So when you're solving this, you're figuring out what x equals. And this is, this is sort of similar to what we did when we did completing the square, because you're gonna get two answers. Remember when you square root, you have to get a positive and a negative. The difference here is now that we have imaginary numbers, you have to give me the imaginaries as well, okay? So we're gonna go through the process. Remember that standard form for a, for a quadratic equation is ax squared plus bx plus c equals zero. So we have a, b, and c right here, and that's what we're using up in this one, okay? So we're gonna use this equation right here, x squared minus seven x plus six, and we're just gonna plug it in. So negative negative seven is seven, plus or minus the square root of negative seven squared minus four times one times six over two times one, okay? So remember, a right here is not, there's nothing there, so it's a one, B is negative seven and C is six. So that's where I'm getting all of the numbers. Now you have to do the order of operations says you have to do what's underneath a radical first. It counts as parentheses. And, and we talked about that before, the implied parentheses. So I'm gonna simplify what's under there right now. So negative seven squared is 49. Four times six is 24. Two times one is two. I'm gonna continue to simplify underneath the radical. Square, now I'm going to do the square root. Square root of 25 is 5. So 7 plus 5 is 12 over 2. 7 minus 5 is 2 over 2, which gives me 6 and 1. Those are my two solutions to this equation right here. Okay? So I'm going to go on. I'm going to do another one. Whoops, a little earthquake there. Another one is... Uh, 3x squared minus x plus 2 equals 0. Okay, so I'm going to go through the same process. So negative negative 1 is 1 plus or minus the square root of negative 1 squared minus 4 times 3 times 2 over 2 times 3. Okay, so when I go through this process, I get, I'm going to do the square root first. 1 plus or minus the square root of 1 minus, that's going to give me 24 over 6, 1 plus or minus the square root of negative 23 over 6. Now, I can't simplify 23 because that's a prime number, but what I can do is I can get rid of that negative. I can get rid of it by bringing it to the outside as an i. If this was a number that I actually could do the square root of, I would do that, but I can't, so I'm just going to leave it like this. This is my final answer. I can't leave a negative under a square root, okay? So I'm gonna continue on. I'm gonna change this just a little bit. What do I need to change it to? Minus two. Okay, now I'm gonna go through the same process. So negative negative one is one, plus or minus the square root of negative one squared minus four times three times two divided by two times three. Do the square root first. So one plus or minus the square root of one minus, oops, I forgot the negative right there, negative 24 over six, which is gonna be one plus or minus the square root of 25 over six, which is gonna be one plus or minus 5 over 6. 1 plus 5 is going to give me 6. 1 minus 5 is going to give me negative 4. So I get 1, comma, negative 2, 3. These are my two solutions. And hopefully that makes sense to you. Um, a little bit more difficult one. Let me think. A little bit more difficult one would be something like this. Okay. 
So right now it's not equal to zero, so I need to set it equal to zero. First thing I'm gonna do is subtract 12. Now it's in the right form, now I just plug it in. Negative, negative nine is nine. Simplify the radical first. And I'm going to continue going. I'm going to go up to here. So one seventy seven. I can't really do anything with that, so I'm just going to leave it like this. Final final answer. Okay, that's what we're looking at.